What's up, my viewers? You're watching the Record Shop TV's Island Vibes. In association with Seba Media, stay tuned to the latest in music and entertainment. I know I know what's the buzz doing. So make sure you log in. Come check us out. Welcome to Record Shop TV Island Vibes in association with Seven Media and I'm your host Bad Stone and today's show we are one of the great producers on set no other than Raj P Yes, how are you? Great man Raj P Full man Yeah, so for, for some of the viewers um, who is wondering who is Raj P give them a little insight and a couple of the works that you do so far within the dance industry uh, Raj P is a music producer Composer, songwriter. We work with various artists in the industry. We work with Sean Paul as we are at Dirty Rock Studio. Yeah. We work with Squash, we work with Chronic Law, Conscience, Egyptian, TOK, and various artists. As in, I couldn't name the list, but it's a yeah. really so, couple of them. Yeah, so how did you get into doing producing? Oh, well, it started from my high school days. Eh? Yeah. I was with I had some friends, Adrian Genius was one of my close friends and I was making some small beats on Fruity Loops at the time and I told him I was producing. He was a rapper at school at the time okay. and we used to link up and just have a little cypher where we make jump, like beat the decks and mm -hmm. then with a rap and as in one day we came we go to a studio, actual studio the first time but it was in a house in College Green where I met Ras Kassa, who was currently now um, Kebaka Pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, and we met there and he was like, just showing me in depth of whatever is Fruity Loops. AJ introduced me as, <clears throat> who is TMO now, he's an artist right now, a rapper still. Yeah. He introduced me as a producer and they welcomed me as a producer. And okay. It was from there and like I said, all right, I'm a producer. <laughs> you know? So I had to venture into the world to find out what exactly a producer was, what he did, what was what was asked of him. Yeah. And then that's where I started to share uh, my kids. Which high school at? Oh, at Kingston was, College. Kingston, Kingston College. College. Yeah. Okay. Were you in form of any group or uh, uh, like going to school? Are you going to school? As in that like sounds like a gang related question. I wouldn't answer that on TV. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, well, as you know, we're, we had a crew at school, but nothing serious. So that. It's called mm -hmm. Bomb Squad. Oh, the Bomb Squad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you, while you're going to school, you, you usually play any form of musical instrument? I well not at school to be honest. I started just like just then the, at least my fourth form year when I started to try to learn the piano. So what was life like going well, up? Well my school every other class for like music yeah. for, for coming up music class and school that I right through you know, like every class. <laughs> so you get the understanding of As in one. as in you know, it was just that from that day I just did have an urge for learn and for be a producer. So okay. learning to play the keyboard was a part of the task and feel like that was what I had to dedicate some of my time to. And while in the field you had up? Exactly. Mm. So what was life like growing up? Growing up, like you want to know where I come from? Like my yeah. mother and my father and them something? Yeah, man. As in my mother, Lydia, father yeah. Clyde. <laughs> two sisters, Raquel and Irene. Yeah, that was us. Two kids. Well, I'm Ariana and yeah. Adeline. Yeah, where exactly growing up? Oh, I grew up in East Kingston, Harbour. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Harborview, so he's... Well, between Vinaya Town to Harborview, so... Okay. What's the affiliation with you and the Six Camp? Yeah, my affiliation with the Six would be like summed up as family. We see with a literal family. I know that the talk about... and Lam and all of them, we deem them as brother and family. Okay, you know, okay. So? I know that they talk about family. Mm -hmm. Um, The street is talking. Um. I guess you guys might hear it. Um, couples are saying that squash and Laba is not like getting along no more or part ways. Well, like I explained to you, we're yeah. a family. So if there is that, not that I'm saying there is, but if there should be such a situation, then that should have been family business and it will be handled in the family, isn't it? But as far as I stand, I'm not aware of that. Okay, it's well, just family. Yeah, as I say, yeah, well, hope, hope it's just that still because we know man, yeah, man. we can have a family right disagreement true, at times, you know. Yes, um, tell us a little bit about the album 
that you launch um Raj to Riches. Yeah, how well is it going? Uh, it's going then? actually going good. Um Chronic Lord A to Z is still trending. It's been yeah. trending almost two weeks now. So uh, that's doing good. We had the song before that I had released, the first single before the release of the album One Mill. Yeah. With Grim YG, um, Shaq Star, Daddy One on the track on yeah, it was that's doing good as well. But that's some of the feedbacks you've been receiving. Uh, everybody loved the album. <coughs> Most people saying to me as in it's a solid album that you know you can travel and listen to every song, they love every song on it. So for me that's like one of the greatest accomplishments to give you twelve solid songs that you can appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about the East Link Records. How many artists are signed to that? Link? Currently we have signed to East Link Records. We have four artists. We have Hundred, we have Musa Dan, we have Album Dan, and we have Gruesome, four young artists, they are all featured on the album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as regards to sign, again, we are also the management, I'm a part of Daddy One's management yeah. team, and I manage Grim YG as well. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you, uh, who are some of your influencers then, while? Coming up. Some of my influences, well, I had some solid people in music. I had Uncle Mike, the twins that used to work with Shaggy, they were always there for like whatever computer issues I had. Um, they had News, like News, my brother would produce a track Evil on the album by Chronic Law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, if there's ever like a question, like something in music I wouldn't understand, like, yeah. some terms, like some legal terms, I wouldn't have an understanding of. Um, I would turn to News also. News and I produced a track that have me now nominated for a Grammy with the Sean Paul and Squash, yeah. which is on the album, the Grammy nominated album. So yeah, again, News is one of my yeah, tell, tell a little bit about that. Um, what was the experience like right, working with Sean Paul? <laughs> Yo, uh, working with Sean Paul, it's just a whole superstar level of experience. It's that I feel like be working with Sean Paul was like the pinnacle of any producer, jo Jamaican producer yeah. career. Yeah. To be honest, it would have been like just to be in his presence at mm -hmm. times is just greatness, ultimate greatness. The way we see how him work music, how him just how him doing things overall is a whole is a whole process. It's just a G with us. So something. what was the experience like? Yo, as in when I saw that we were Grammy nominated, I call news the same time. I'm saying news! You see this? I call news. I said, oh, who, who tell me some Grammy nominated? Mm -hmm. I don't remember who exactly called me and tell me, say, yo, Sean Paul album Grammy nominated. I was like, really? I think it was Aisha, that was a girl that does my PR. Aisha, she is um, mm -hmm. Creed, Creed, Mu Creed Music Group, that's the okay. name of my PR company. Okay. But yeah, I think she was the one who called me and tell me that I was Grammy nominated. It was like, as in, not, as in I produced a song with Sean Paul, but never in my career I was expecting to be Grammy nominated. Yeah. 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 As in, I never what planned for that. Greatness. Greatness. As in, McCall News, same time, News is like, I know, yeah. we're getting the Grammy kid. Cause, you know, News, uh, Brooklyn News, that said, look, yo, we're going to get this Grammy kid. I was like, yeah. alright. Yeah. As in, a full excitement for me. I wouldn't even lie to you. It's like a full excitement. I call my mother, my father, my grandmother, I tell everybody about it, you know? Naturally. <laughs> yeah, it did fully. Yeah, so, so you're just keeping putting the work yeah, as in that. Continuously, don't yeah. just put it. So it was a part of the Grammy, was a part of why I chose to do the album. As in, you couldn't be nominated for a Grammy without, without an album. album. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, cool, we can actually do this. Song. An album, so for the I was like, I was going for an album, yeah. so and see if we can continue this Grammy journey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything you wish you knew before you started your career? I think there's a lot of things we wish we would have known and we, we could have always. Like, like we could have prevented. But, as in where it's concerned, as I look at those as like learning lessons. Everything yeah. for like a stepping stone, you move on. And the more you, as in you have to fall to learn to some extent. Yeah, which is right. Which so is right. sometimes when you're on a process, some things you're not going to be like a handed, like a booklet. As to say, oh, if you do this, you're going to fail. No, there's no booklet for it. So we tried and whatever tried work. Yeah. You understand? So whatever work was no the formula. Yeah, it is, so to yeah. be honest, there's no regrets. We were just, each thing we saw as a process. Yeah. Each step was a growing if, step. If you could change anything about the music industry, what would it be? If I could change anything about the music industry, as in, I, I, I wouldn't know what to change, to be so honest. As in, to be honest, like you would have said, all right, we don't want 
if it wasn't like some gun song or would I take out some gun song out of the industry. For me, that would that have been a good topic, but then as in what is the, what is a what is an individual reality is what going to be in topics of music, you understand? So until so the, me asking to change the music is me asking to change the world. So basically mm. we can't really fight that as something. Whatever is trending topics, sometimes people lean to it. But what I would like to change is just not change per se, but I'd rather I'd rather dance all getting it respect, the producers getting the respects, the innovators getting the respect. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like we have a lot of songs that's been integrated worldwide and we are not being credited for it. Which is right, which is right. Cock. So if that's if that's something I'd like to change, then probably that we are we influence music heavily and it's not being recognized or we, we don't we don't live in the same pay grade as somebody who uses our influences. Yeah. You understand? Yeah man, which is mm -hmm. right. Because really and truly the type of music them really putting out now um I guess the crime, the violence and the kinda of just like the negative. To me, I guess we need to more focus on more positive as in, music. As in I couldn't agree with that because to be honest, good music is being done. Yeah. You have people singing without even integrating a gun in himself. But it is what people gravitate to. We can't choose for for the public. What we do is put out music. We put out girl song, we put out conscious song, we put out good, well, you know, other songs. And it's what was what was chosen. There's a lot of music that we produce. We produce good, sensible, wholesome music, but it's what was chosen. So you understand? Who are some of your influencers, I mean, within artists, within music and producing and management? Uh, you know, Bonnie Lee Strike, as in of late, I've been researching his legacy of music. He is definitely an influencer studying what he did in music, mm -hmm. how innovative he was back mm -hmm. then, trying to see how I can imply what I learned from being around the Gargan camp okay. into my career, into my label. He gave me so, as in that's just a yeah. next thing, but Bonnie Lee Striker definitely was one of my, I was always an admirer of Lee Scratch Perry, the yeah. eccentric behavior, but you know, yeah. as like I said yeah, before the visit, but you know. <laughs> so. And for the artist? For the artist, mm -hmm. um, you know, Sean Paul, yeah. Automatically pinnacle, Squash was a superstar, a youth of Mercury, just enjoy recording, enjoy working with him. Chronicler likewise, um, Grim YG, just, I mean, this man is just, a, you know, yeah, just a tough yeah. artist. Yeah. I, I know my artists, them. Part. You know, it's, it's yeah, each of my artists, them, I'm going to work with them, influence me in a way because, as in, I can see me reflecting through them and them, you know, as in the music, yeah. them sounds, we, it's just a family thing, to be honest. So oh. I can't really say, I have and a various what? amount of influence. Everybody play them Everybody part play as them. my influences. Yeah. So on the, on, the, on the music and the journey. About, but before me even go further, let me yeah. be honest, one of my main influences was TOK. Yeah. As in they were the first group I started to work with in from like 17. Yeah. Yeah. We used to work hand in like to, we, we shared that studio space together. In 36 Garden Boulevard, it was Don Space for you. Don Carly on the first first spot. Okay. Yeah, then we moved in and Share the space, it was that was kind of like TOK Super Hive, a couple of real original influences in music, you know. Yeah, so on your, on your journey, on your uh, musical journey, mm -hmm. your career, um, yeah, you get a lot of support from like families and friends, uh, as in family. M grew up in a Christian house, so okay. as in my mother, not really to run them jokes with my son, them, and we not really produce yeah. gospel, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So as in, I wasn't like looking for her to say, oh, I love that song, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was more of a case where I just seek outside confirmation of mm -hmm. my music. But they were they were supportive of the situation. Like I was a producer, they wasn't all for the music I produced, but they were yeah. supportive of the fact that I was a producer. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. So has the internet impacted on your career? The internet. Um. Well. I've been in music for a while now, yeah. so I've seen where the internet has actually leveled the play field. Wow. Like it actually is a great midfielder then, the internet. Mm -hmm. It actually leveled the ball game for everybody. Where, I mean, bear in mind one time, music was to the rich producers. The, yeah. the producers who could afford to own a studio, record your press your records, carry it to the record shop. And then the record shop would then know, say, yo, this is the hot song. You understand? Mm -hmm. So a man would have him talent and him 
probably it just suppressed because I can't afford it. I don't know nobody, I'm not connected. Now the internet, I've seen a man sit at him house and record on him phone mm. and become one of the most viral songs in the yeah. world. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Not so, sure. like I said, it's like the great mm -hmm. equalizer. Mm -hmm. what the is? internet is like the great equalizer. It leveled the ball game. Is there any particular artist that you would like to work with moving on in the, to the future? And I like to produce Jay Z if that's the case. Oh gosh, they have a team yeah, so so local in, and overseas. Yeah, but Kod Kodak Black has always been somebody me that want to produce a track with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Lil Durk, I'm an ex artist, I'm a check out. I, mean, I really produce some yeah. trap music with him. Yeah, yeah, as in locally, apart from my camp, who is fully family, mm -hmm. um, outside of that, we don't work with Massacre, bad artists. We very, can. very tough artists. Yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Massacre and what the next you then Dynasty with them man with them. Um Skinny Toad. And it's yeah 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 like Ritical. Tough tough, tough artist tough. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. yeah but well, then mm. well, you don't know for months I put in the work, I guess yeah, anything man. possible though. Definitely, definitely. Anything possible. You know that the curfew has lifted. Um you have any plans for the future, like within the how to take it to the next step now, now that the curfew lifted for your artists them now? How that they can push them more? Now that the curfew lifted, yeah, sure. to me that's just the greatest thing. Because like, we have songs, the people are more for silly. And it's time now, stay true to them, it's time back for dance or for be dance or it's time now for Shelly Belly them get active, yeah. it's time now for pan and knock them, lift up them pan. A time now for ching them and take the mic and a ching. Yeah. Yeah, we miss Natural. it. At that how we know about yeah, that, are the, that are the arena, that are the platform that has built our culture for years. Mm -hmm. And we're ready for it again, Andrew. Kind of, you don't know, whatever was his reasons, it was sacrificed as the, the one thing that would have caused Corona. So, you know, he sacrificed music. So, we just said, all right, the time no, is up now. Yeah, so we make full, full, so we make full use of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is there any advice we'd love like to give to someone pursuing a career similar to yours? In music, mm -hmm. just stick to it. If you have like a talent and you have a craft, stick to it. You try to perfect your craft, continuously try to network. Don't be afraid to link up yeah. and socialize with other people who does the same craft. It's a big plate. The more you know, the more you grow. So where do you see Raj P in the next five years within the entertainment industry? Just tell them I'm going to do a collab with DJ Khalid, man. Giant. I mean, up there. So giant. Big giant work, giant. man. Yeah, man. Open a record label overseas. You know, as in probably be the next VP for Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something. thing. Not but we're not stopping. The point is we're not stopping. We're growing to the pinnacle of it. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Mm. So, so Raj P, is anything you love to say to the viewers then? Um, well, to the viewers, I'm going to tell them I really appreciate the support on Raj to Riches. As in who don't see it yet, or who don't view it yet, who don't download it yet, and you can go stream it right now. Raj to Riches on our streaming platform. And you can look out for Register Riches Volume the Second, Rich P. Yeah. Yeah, you see him like you have everything figured out in the general. Yeah, man, we just have pretty well. Someone's having knowledge, I eat, you know. Yeah, man, no first so, step, man. Give thanks again for passing through, one second, you know. No first step, Yeah. Man.